Just got my C1 delivered. So it took a bit over a week to get this one delivered. So fingers crossed it's a good car. It looks alright. So hopefully everything will be as it should. Welcome back everyone. I just had this one delivered just now, literally two minutes ago. Um, the car looks better than I expected. I might not even polish this car, just gonna give it a clean, straight up for sale. Now, a few things I've noticed is, it's got this here, which I'm not gonna fix. This is gonna be a very cheap car. Um, the caps are different, and there's one missing on the other side, I'll show you in a second. Um, it's got this bit missing which tells me that the car was tracked at some point um, but it feels alright this side looks nice as well it's, it's an immaculate car not many scratches if you can see I'm not sure if you can pick that on camera but I might still give it a polish to make it look nicer but yeah, so I'm gonna get a cap. Well, I actually I buy the whole four, buy new ones. I like this style, so I'll be going for the same um, same style. Um, I'm probably gonna paint this black to make it look nicer. And I'll see the state of the other ones. I might paint those as well. The back of the car, same as the front, looks very nice, pretty tidy. I'm gonna restore this plastic trim with a heat gun um, and yeah it had a green um, what do you call it the inspection check from BCA uh, which is good I pretty much only go for for the ones that have got green reports no point buying the the ones with loads of problems uh, the seats are okay-ish I can sort it out easily I think they had a dog, because there's a dog here everywhere. That's the dash, the door. This one is making a noise. It needs some grease. You can sort that out easy. Let's have a look inside. See what we can find. Not sure what that is. Is that a kill switch? If you know what that is, let me know in the comment section. What is the button you press and then eject or seat or cruise or whatever it's called in that Fast and Furious film. Um, yeah, it needs a good clean, obviously. You can see hair everywhere. And here, look at that. I can get that sorted easily. It's got two previous owners. And the best part, I had a quick look in here because I don't want to reveal any personal details like customer names and that sort of stuff on my channel. It's got full service history. I have to do this with my left hand. There you go. So the last one was done at 95,000 and the car now has, where's the key gone? It's got 103, it needs some fuel. Uh, let's see what the engine sounds like. The clutch feels a bit light, but it drives all right. The engine sounds lovely. It's just the clutch feels a bit. I don't know, I never had a Citroen before. But the car drives absolutely fine. Well, I only done like 500 meters. Um, 
yeah, I need some fuel. Definitely don't want to run out of fuel. Obviously, it doesn't have sat nav and all those things. It's a very basic car. Um, I overpaid a little bit for it. Um, but I'm going to go through that in a bit. If I can get my figures right. Let's have a quick look at the engine bay. And first, let's have a look at the boot. We're going to find a treasure or something in here. A suitcase with a million pounds. You wouldn't mind. Got floor mats which I can probably clean or just buy new ones. I like to put new floor mats in my cars, just make the car look better. Uh, the spare wheel is in there, can't open that with one hand. He's got L plates, which tells me I was a new driver's car. Let's have a quick look at the engine bay. Trained for this all my life. Hey, hey. Ah, needs a clean. Looks alright. Cooler looks nice and red. I'm gonna check the um, the oil level when it's cold. Because now I had the engine running for a bit. But yeah, so far I'm happy with it. The headlights look okay. They've probably been done recently. Don't know. But it actually looks really nice. I don't like red cars. Um, this one looks very tidy, very well looked after. And that it has full service history, it's good. I just need to go through it to see if it had Campbell done or water pump or anything. But yeah, so far it's pretty good. So we're just gonna go through the figures in a bit. Um, I need to go in for that to check. I can't check on my phone and record at the same time. But I, I a little bit overpaid for this car. I think I only got like 500 pounds margin in. Uh, but I'm thinking to put it up for a bit more. And the reason is because the car looks good. It's got full service history. Um, and there are not many cars around. Like around this price, price range and everything. So yeah. Hopefully I'll make some good money on this. Probably be up for sale by tomorrow. I'm just about to polish the uh, the mini and uh, to restore that plastic trim. It was a bit too lazy yesterday. So I'll get that done today and then I'll jump on this car. And the mini still needs to go again in the in the workshop. Sorry, not the mini, the, the Mazda. Um, so I'm just go I'm gonna prep it afterwards. Right, let's have a look at the figures quickly. Um, I paid for the car £1,050. Uh, buyer's fee, £252. Uh, essential check, £11.40. And delivery, including VAT, it was £112.85p. Uh, so total is £1,426. Now, I paid a little bit too much for this car. Um, the reason is the retail price is only £1,900. Um, so basically, I've got less than £500 margin in this car. Uh, it hasn't been to the garage yet. I'm going to take it tomorrow. Hopefully, they'll have a look around and they'll say, yeah, it doesn't need anything. But my plan is to sell the car for a little bit more. And the reason is... Um, there is a shortage of this kind of cars. Um, every time I look on marketplace in my area, the cars are just dog shit. Um, and I think my car is going to stand out. Plus, it's got full service history. So I think I'll be able to sell it for two and a half. Um, I'll get some nice wheel caps. Um, and yeah, it should, should fly out the door. Maybe should I put it for even more? I don't know. But I'm going to take advantage of this um, and um, make some money. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Probably I'll do a video on uh, prepping the Mini, uh, restoring the, the plastic trim and uh, machine polish it. So I'm just going to take it to the car wash now. 
get it washed and then uh, I'll start working my magic. Interior is all done. I just need to do the, the outside and uh, can put the car on for sale. Happy days. Thank you so much for watching.